Hey my friend, it's Dirk and today is Q&A Friday and the first question today comes from Tahit and he asks, Hey Dirk, I hope this email finds you well and by the way, you can always email your question by commenting below each video like this or you can email us at support at duktran.cl here we go. Just like yourself, I also started my LS journey with the Stanford class and have been fortunate enough to get two to three freelance works in the past. Congratulations, my friend. That is amazing. I have also been following your tutorials for quite some time and often refer to them as my quick how-to video series. Thank you and I hope that this these videos help you a lot and a lot of you too. The question I have for you is, how have you been able to successfully market yourself to such a big audience? As much engineering knowledge that I have, I constantly find myself struggling to draw audience to what I'm working on and would appreciate if you could share some insights. Also, do you mind sharing your good research profile? I would love to read each book with you at the same time. Thank you Tahid for sending this email in and I hope that I spell your name right. Now, to answer your question, how did I market myself to get freelance works, to get students, to get clients into my world? It's quite simple, but people usually do not think of this way. So I will have, I have three ideas, very, very simple ideas here I want to share with you. Number one, I know that you may have this, but most people don't have it, is that you need to put up a website online. It has to be public, and most importantly, it has to have your portfolio on there. What is a portfolio? It means that you show them on the website what are the apps that you know to build, what are the apps that you publish, what are the apps that you are able to build. Now, most people think that these apps that they put into their portfolio, it has to be the apps that they publish on the app store but um, most often it doesn't have to be because what people are concerned about especially for lanes works for lanes clients is they're concerned about what you can do for them what values they can you can create for them right so just put up a website with a portfolio of the apps that you built uh, in the past the apps that you publish if you have one or the apps that you learn how to build and now you're confident to build them again or build something similar to that. Imagine that if you go, you go to the street, right? And you pitch yourself in front of a business owner, an Italian food restaurant, and he wants to build an app that people can see the menu and they can order online and then pick up at his restaurant. Right, it's very simple app. But if you on if you don't have a showcase, in other words, the portfolio to show him that hey, I can do this because I already built something similar to that, or something uh, a little bit simple, simpler than that, or something is harder than that. Even I can build that beautiful like that or similar to that. So I can build something like you too. Or it doesn't have to be similar. It can just showcase that you are capable of doing building an app and yes imagine when you show that to him then if he likes your style if he likes your business if he likes your uh, design then very much likely that he could hire you as a freelancer so i hope that this helped number two is you need to start my friend, you need to start. You don't have to have a college degree. You don't have to get a like certificate or a degree from someone, an allowance from someone or permission from someone to start putting freelance works out there. My first, I still remember so vividly that my first freelance project is I just pitched myself in front of my girlfriend. Yes, I pitched myself in front of my girlfriend and her business partner that they were building a, um, a e-commerce business, right? They were to sell some cosmetics products. And I just see that they don't have a website yet. And I see that it's very important nowadays that if you want to sell something, you must have a website. And so I just say that, hey, I noticed that I didn't, you didn't have a website. So I just learned how to build a website and I show them some of the web pages or WordPress sites that I built in the past. And I said that, hey, can I build this for your business? Um, I just starting out. So uh, it's just $400. 
and that time four hundred dollars seems like a lot for me and and it's a lot especially for someone starting out like me at that time but you know what start the secret is you had to start somewhere so my advice to you is start from your current network ask your friends ask your fathers or brothers or mom's friends ask around your neighbors see go to the main street right now yeah go to main street right now if now if i am still doing freelance works most of my time now so that i dedicate to my teaching and my training here at the world boys academy but if so my freelance work is usually just like one or two percent of my time you know like i have the passion and the mission to train and teach so if i still do most of my revenue and my business is doing freelance works then you know what i'm going to down the main street and i am going to knock the door of every single business and ask them if they have a a, a web page a website and i or an online app or an ios app i ask them that i can do that for you like, then show them the portfolio pitch yourself show them that hey if you have a website if you have an app it will be very convenient for your business to be discovered or very convenient for your clients your customers to contact with you so please do that and another way is you can go on get on freelance sites now especially i know that a lot of you watching is our international students right you are from india you're from china you are from uh, all around the world our um, uh, just watch viewers here is so so international audience now you might concern that you are not in the America, but hey, guess what? Most freelancers now today are hired are from outside the United States. That's this amazing opportunity. Thanks to the internet, thanks to Apple, thanks to Google, thanks to Facebook, you can work for, for American companies now today without having to be in America. What you have to do is you have to do the work, my friend. Get on freelance. Uh, freelancers.com i believe or upwork.com or fiverr.com or onlinejob.ph.com and goes there ask people for your project and if you're just starting out that's okay that's even cooler because you can go there and just ask them that hey I, I am just starting out, but I know how to build something similar to this. But because I'm starting out now, I didn't have any review. I just have my portfolio of what I did in the past. So can I, can you give me an opportunity? All I will ask for is an opportunity to start my freelance works. So you can, maybe your cost is $1,000. I can do that for you for just $500, right? All I ask is you give me an opportunity for one month, two months, and then you give me a review or something, right? So just be honest, be open to opportunities. Just ask, my friend, you must ask people and you must do that a lot like a few times a day not like to do that once in a while and you say that no one hires you guess what you must ask a lot now for myself personally or on another example is i ask people to join my courses so i can help them to build ios apps right guess what i ask thousands and thousands of students and most of them say no most of them say no but a few of them will say yes and that already make you a career that's step number two my friend number one put up a website with your portfolio number two is you need to start from your current network and you get on freelancing websites so number three number three incredibly important this step is more of when you get a client already and now most people when they get a client they will be like okay i'm done with you here we go move on to the next one here is the tip ask for referrals ask for referrals incredibly important because guess what usually usually a business they does business right then they have to do business with other people too imagine that a um let's say an e-commerce website right usually they will have their um they, they will have their suppliers multiple suppliers then those suppliers very much likely they want also to have an app have a website 
So you can ask for referrals too. If you did an excellent job for them, why don't you just ask them for referrals? Even if they don't do business directly with those people that they can refer to, they can be their friends, they can be their families, or even they can just be, um, they, oh, I, I don't have any friends, but I know that that business, that restaurant on, uh, down the street or that store down the street also need a website. Why don't you ask them and say that I sent you? right that's a referral and it's amazing you can see that very much likely those people also need your project need your expertise need your skills too because guess what most people now today they are not equipped from school from um, to education to build apps to be websites but you my friend you are the developer you are the one who with the skills so please do not waste that skills please apply those skills into the world help other people just as i said always learn always create always contribute and i thank you so much for joining me in this Q&A Friday. Now I would love to hear from you. What is the one strategy that has helped you a lot to get freelancing clients, to get freelance project? So please share that strategy right below this video for me so that we can interact and others can learn from you so we can build this amazing community together here. And number two, can you do me two favors? Number one is if you enjoy this session and you would love to hear from me, get more free trainings every single week, can you subscribe to the channel right here so that I can continue to deliver free training videos for you every single week? And number three is, what I would love to do for you is, uh, if you love to be more advanced iOS apps, then I'm hosting a webinar called How to Build Twitter with Firebase. There I teach you how to build uh, an app that you can sign up users, can lock in users, people can share new posts, can like a post, can dislike a post. It works just like Twitter, the social network app you see on twitter.com. And um, I do that in a very special online, very intimate workshop, online workshop, and you can do that for free too. So all you have to do is click the link on this page, go there, select the date and time that you would love to join me in the webinar, and also enter your name email there so I can send you the access link, on the resources, on the videos, and let's go on there. So click the button on this page, go on to the webinar with me and see you next time. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, my friend, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world. I'll see you next time.